Today I am going to be dropping my GoPro into this crystal clear desert canal and then fishing around it. We have a bunch of live minnows. We have some worms as well. And don't worry, I can see fish down there already. We're just waiting for the sun to come up a little bit more so the picture is okay for you guys. All right, so here's the rig we got here. We have just the extendable GoPro float on here. We have a swivel put in between. We have a swivel up here that connects to our line and we have a five ounce weight. So what this is gonna do is when this gets to the bottom, we're going to tighten up our line and that, I'm not gonna drop it because it'll just fall right now. That will hold our camera in place right there. But that's what we got going on. Here we go, it's time, baby. It's time! I'm gonna go ahead and get the camera angle situated. Maybe get them used to the camera, I don't know. Okay, here we go. Into the desert canal we go. We're kind of tilted up. We want to be tilted down. I'm going to make sure and play with this and, and get it perfect before I, before I even launch it down there. Sorry, bro. Leave it. Good boy. So for our rig, we got just a simple drop shot rig. So I have a small mosquito hook. And then I just have two split shots for my weight. I want to keep this as delicate as possible. We're fishing in front of a huge camera. For bait, we have live minnows because those are the coolest things to watch get eaten. Oh, I am so excited. We're just gonna double lick, double lick, <laughs> double lip hook him. And I'm gonna get him right in front of the camera. Here we go, first cast of the day. Thank you guys for clicking on this video. If you enjoy, consider subscribing. Here we go. All I'm hoping is for some fish in front of this camera here. Picked up. Fish on. Look at that. <laughs> Little largy. Oh, I did not mean to make him a sand bass. But there he is. That was my fault. Slippery little buggers they are. Let's try a worm. Let's give a worm a shot. And we did give a worm a shot. You'll see it drop down here, right in the center. All these bites, I didn't feel any of them. Not a single one. So you'll see me drop it down here again. I mean, pretty much right as it hits the water, there's fish coming over to grab it. Look at that. This little guy takes a bite out of the back. And that just sparks this guy to grab it with his mouth. I didn't feel that at all, guys. Didn't feel anything. So because we were not feeling these bites, I just figured they weren't biting the worm. We give it one more shot. Uh, but the fish aren't really interested, so we end up switching back to the live minnows. Hopefully we can get them this time. This has been tricky, guys. The GoPro malfunctioning. I really hope this is it. Let's get some good eats here. I think I'm actually just going to make sure it's perfectly in line with the camera. I'm actually going to leave my minnow in there and just keep an eye on the line because they're being really finicky right now, and I want to stand back so they can't see me and they have a more likely chance of eating that minnow. <sighs> guys, here we really start to see the effects of crystal clear water. We'll see that guy take a little snap at it, but that's it. I may note that was a head first eat right there. All these fish just really, really want to eat this live minnow, but they can't. They just feel so exposed. This canal is crystal clear. I even tried jigging it a few times here, kind of like a drop shot rig, but they were just not buying it. It really took them some time to kind of loosen up and uh, feel safe eating that bait. Also, these trees right here, it's a mix of tumbleweeds and Christmas trees. If you guys look, there's a stump right there and those are branches coming off. So it looks like someone planted some Christmas trees in this spot to kind of bring in some fish. Don't think that's legal, but, and I'm just hanging back here just like this. I didn't want to be standing over my bait or anything. I gave them their time. I gave them their space so they felt comfortable eating, uh, but it just really took some time. Look at him. He just really wants to eat that. Really wants to eat that. You can tell they're intrigued basically the whole time. Oh 
Oh my gosh, there's a huge carp coming to the camera. That's insane. Never seen carp in here. If you guys notice when the carp is around, there's no fish, but right as the carp disappears, look, here they all come again. Here they all come. They just come right back. You could tell they're just not comfortable with those bigger fish around. Look at that minnow freaking out. This is about 10 minutes in the water here. I think our minnow got eaten. It did, fish on. <laughs> he just popped off. Well, at least our strategy worked. Let's try that again. Oh my gosh, already. I dropped him. It's getting windier, so I think that's picking up the bite. I think this cast was about an eight to 10 minute wait for another fish to swim by. But when another one swam by, eventually, there was no hesitation on this one. And look at how hard it is to detect this bite. Boom, sucks it in. Almost no movement from that rod. Almost no movement. Got him. Smalley. 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 Hey, <laughs> it ain't much, but that's the biggest of the day. Micro Smalley. Hey, man, we're exploring the desert canal one fish at a time. That's for sure. After this cast, I ended up trying a night crawler here. You'll see it towards the middle of the screen. And these fish wanted nothing to do with this freaking night crawler, at least for the first five minutes. But it seemed as if if it sat there long enough, they would come check it out. I think he still has it, maybe. Yep, fish on. Smalley. Smalley on the worm. <laughs> Another fish down. I hope everything's looking clear for you guys down there. We're gonna go ahead and switch back to a minnow. See if we can get a couple more cool eats on there. Just after this, we actually see our first pan fish of the video. We got one staring at the camera here, and then here is a red ear that comes in and here's another red ear and that original panfish that I was looking at the camera that's actually a bluegill the red ear little more elongated body the bluegill little more circular body obviously the bluegill has the stripes down the sides and the red ear just kind of has that chalked up circle pattern and here we actually plop a live minnow right into the water and this smallmouth is not having it Bro, how do they know? Got him that time. Got him that time. Oh my goodness. Better one. Better one, guys. Look at that. Beautiful little desert smallie. Let's get him out. Thanks, buddy. Here's definitely one of the most interesting eats of the video. You'll see the minnow right here. Smalley comes up, grabs it, just kind of keeps it in his mouth. This is why you guys can't see the bites on top of the water. They just sit in one spot. But he sucks it in, spits it out, sucks it back in, kind of swims a little bit with it. And then he freaking ends up getting the minnow off the hook. After this, these fish were getting really picky, so we decided to pack up and move to a different spot. Oh my God, there's like 50 of them. I'm gonna try and put it right where they are. It's facing the wrong way. Same exact thing, guys. The awkward angle is gonna make it tricky, but I think we can do it. 
So we get down there and all the fish freaking disperse like right away. I mean, they're just off camera here. Minnow's not looking great, had to change that guy out. And then we end up getting this guy right off camera. Picked up, fish on, look at that. First cast, first cast. This is a baby largie. So I wasn't really satisfied with this angle here, so I recasted the camera. And as you can see, it worked out great for us. There's a bunch of fish just sitting here in this current in the canal here. And all we're doing is drifting our minnow from left to right. And we get some attention right away. And I wasn't really sure how long it was going to stay in front of the camera with the current. So I just would keep drifting in front of the camera. Look at this minnow. He's freaking out, man. And he, this minnow actually calls a fish from the depths here. See a little largemouth coming in. And right before he's about to eat it, I reel it up. Oh my goodness. It's frustrating, guys, but you just don't know unless you feel that on your rod. Slurped up and we miss because we suck. That's all right. We get right back down there. This is like my last minnow for the day here. And he gets it off the freaking hook. <laughs> Story of my life, man. Story of my life. This was a lot of fun to make, though, guys. Please consider subscribing if you enjoyed the video, and we will see you in the next one.